everyone, my name is Luminitsa and welcome to my channel. Speaking of which, today I realized that the most watched video on my YouTube channel so far is the one about Pucha Kucha, which kind of makes sense actually because we're in a back to school mood. Last time I told you about the history of it and generally what this technique is and today I want to reveal or explain the whole step-by-step -step process how I personally make the best Pucha Kucha presentations ever. And let's see what we need there for. I personally go for the basics. Um, I always use my personal laptop. Of course, you can go for an iPad or a computer. It is just important that you can work from this device with a Microsoft PowerPoint or Canvas, Slides Go, whatever software is the best for you. If you need some tips with that, I have a video about this. Also, you will need some kind of a sticky notes, paper. This is not mandatory, but you will see that this hack will make your life so much easier when it comes to Pucha Kucha presentations. A pen and um, some papers. I use a notebook because then all my ideas are at the same place. And let's actually use the last two ones and get started. So the very first thing you need to know or you need to do before you start anything is pick a topic, obviously. You really need to spend time on that and think about that because this is the framework or the reason you're even doing this presentation. But um, I would not overthink it, especially this thing, because this shouldn't be your final title. You just need to have an idea of what you're going to present. And then the second step will be to pick a structure. I will go for a um, basic linear one. If you have no idea what I'm, going, what I'm talking about, uh, check my video um, about uh, structures. There are many ways and many types of structures, linear and circular. And really just check it out. You will see that this is vital when you want to make a good structured presentation and um, as for me I will go for an introduction now the third step is to actually combine these two and basically make the framework of your presentation so based on your structure how you want to uh, present your information and what I usually do is I rewrite the structure and I start to write what I want to talk about in this part. For example, in, in the introduction, I want to get started with something general, maybe mm, communication in general. And then I want to narrow it a little bit down to communication and me. If you need some tips about intros, how to formulate it, how um, what types of intros exist and so on, you can also check my video on that. Now, after we have the intro, which is usually just a presentation of you or about of the topic, we move on to the body, which is actually the main part of our presentation. Hey, Editing Luminita here. I've just realized that during this video, I tell you many times that you have to check my other videos as well, which aside of free of charge self-promotion, they're actually interesting and um, useful in this context. So check them out and um, enjoy the video. But I have a video about rhetorical devices and there I explain um, what is this. For example, this is um, a contrast and why it is so important in a good presentation. So really go and check it out as well. Then after... After being done with this, the creative part comes in and this is where our sticky notes uh, are appear and mainly because as I said in my other video, Pecha Kucha is about having 20 slides which you spend 20 seconds on. So every note will be a slide in our case. In the fifth step, we will combine the previous two steps and mainly we will divide our paper slides based on the structure that we did before. There is a no right or wrong, but as a rule of thumb, um, what I usually do is um, I give one fourth of the slides, I dedicate one fourth of the slides to the intro 
one fourth of the, of the slides to the conclusion and consequently the rest two fourths to the body and you can actually divide them physically so these are five for the intro now after we divided everything what I do is I take the papers dedicated to one part and I start to write these points as a separate slide because I will not talk about communication in general and communication me on the same slide because remember it's just 20 seconds per slide so I take one I realize that I have five notes or five slides that I didn't use so far which is actually good because then we can use these five um, next in the process when we see that maybe we lack some time or we need to spend more than one slide for example on one of these topics. Step number six might be something that you don't really like, I don't like it either but it is crucial to do this and mainly you have to write your text word by word so if in other presentations a lot of people give you the tip to um, write you some bullet points but then freely talk in a picture culture you have to talk freely but it's all about efficiency and being on time so i highly recommend you to take all these notes that we prepared and write on them word by word what you're going to say including hello if you want to say hello my name is and so on step number seven is one of the most difficult ones and honestly speaking one of the most time consuming but we're almost at the end of our perfect picture coach so stay with me at this stage you have to resize your text meaning you have to take every card take a timer and really read the text from the card and track your time remember this time should not be more nor less than 20 seconds and this is where the pain starts because if your text is too short you have to add up uh, some words or do something so that you come from 15 seconds to your perfect 20 seconds if it's too much text then you have to cut off words or time to make it shorter what I would definitely not recommend is to speak way too fast just to be um, um, part of this 20 seconds or super slow just to grab this 20 seconds because um, yes your text is uh, well prepared but it should sound and look natural and if you talk too fast all these 20 seconds because you have a lot of information to yeah but you don't have so much time to um, speak this sounds weird and um, we don't want that that's why this is the step where you really have to sit down and spend some time mastering this text and writing it and talking it again and again and changing words and it's just a lot of beauty work around that when you're done with that congratulations i know i know it was a hard path to walk on but now you're done with all the writing you're done with your text you're actually almost done with your presentation so we're moving to our laptop or your smartphone and again if you remember from my Pichikucha video uh, when you did this kind of presentations you are allowed to use only pictures so words are good don't panic this is important but now we have to find the right pictures for your perfect text and we were going to do this using some softwares um, for like stock pictures you can take them from Google but it's a gray line between uh, it being legal or illegal that's why just to stay safe I always go for free of charge stock pictures uh, my personal favorites are Pixabay, Paxos and Unsplash all this website have also an app so you can check them out as well same as with your text at the beginning don't overthink it yes pictures are important but people actually listen to you and the pictures are just a nice must have so don't overthink, overthink it but spend some time to really highlight your idea with the pictures if you've made it so far congratulations you're really just one step away 
from your perfect pachikucha presentation. You can use this uh, next tip for you to just um, practice and um, try it out many times and make it the best presentation ever. So therefore we need to go to these transitions on the top bar and choose any of them, let's say cover. And here at the advanced slide we want to change it from on mouse click to after. So this will set a timer when the slides change on their own. You don't even have to worry about that. And we want to change it from 0 to 20 seconds and obviously apply to all the slides over here. Now, if you go to the presentation from the beginning, you basically have your slides and you can start talking. Um, you can at the beginning read from your uh, papers that we prepared in the previous steps, but then you can learn them by heart. And uh, this helps you to have an overview and see, okay, the text that I'm talk uh, that I'm saying is really just 20 seconds or it's too little or it's too much you can see this transition and you can um, really uh, find a way to continue talking although maybe you forgot your text anyways really practice makes it perfect and I highly highly recommend you to use this option and voila now you're ready to go and shine with your perfect new Pucha Kucha presentation and I know it takes some time to go through all these steps and of course you could have done it all under two minutes but would that be so good from my personal experience I can assure you that if you don't spend but but really invest this time into thinking uh, of a good topic, uh, finding a good structure that will be really uh, interesting for you and your audience. If you really spend some time um, on writing a good text and then resizing it, uh, if you really um, search for the right pictures that will highlight your text, then in the end, first of all, it's better for you because if you put so much time and effort in it and if you practice, practice, pra practice, then in the end, when you're in front of the audience, you'll have almost no fear because you've done it so many times. You've said this text so many times. You've seen this picture so many times. So in the end, you'll be less afraid and you'll be confident because you know it all. It's so well structured. It's so up to date. You know it actually by heart. <laughs> And it's good for your audience because then they see that it's somehow concise and it has some substance and it's not just a story that you will forget when the next person talks. So really, if you want to make a really good Pachacucha presentation, take some time and really go through all the steps that I told you about today. If you want to learn more about presentation, click here and here. You can click here to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button to always get notified when um, interesting videos come up. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!